Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talk about how to solve a system of linear equations. So that means when we have like two linear equations, uh, the point of intersection of them is called their solution. So some options we have in here is easier to understand on a graph. Like on this question over here, as you see, uh, there are two equations. Each equation represents a line. So on the coordinate plane, the first one is going to be a line, the second one is going to be a line. If they touch each other at one point, then there's one solution. If they are on top of each other, like if we have two equations but only one line, that means they have the same line, then they have infinitely many solutions. And if the lines are parallel, which means if they do not touch at all, that means there's no solution. So it's easier to see when we graph the lines. So uh, the state test, for example, allows you to use the Desmos graphing calculator, which lets you just graph the lines and then you can see if they touch each other. For example, right now we are working on IXL U14 solve a system of equations using a method. The main methods are called elimination, uh, like this question is, let me see. This question is substitution. One method is elimination, the other method is substitution, and then the easiest method is graphing. So graphing is not as easy as we can do on the graphing calculator. If you just do it by hand, it's harder than that, of course, but still relatively easier than the other methods. So let me just show you how you can do these questions on Desmos, okay? So basically all you'll have to do or before this question, let me just make up uh, three, two types of questions, or maybe three. So the first one, let's say x equals negative five, negative four. So x equals negative four is a vertical line passing through negative four. So this is just one point on the line, and as you see, the x coordinate is equal to negative four. Or just pick another point on the line, like this point, for example. x equals negative four y equals positive 2, or x equals negative 4, y equals positive 4. As you see, on all of these points, the x value is always equal to negative 4. That's why this line is called x equals negative 4, okay? So, let's say this is the first equation that I have in my system, and then the second one is y equals uh, They represent a system, and the solution is the point of intersection of the two lines. So over here, when x equals to negative 4 and y equals to negative 4, the lines meet, that's my solution. So this system has only one solution because the lines touch each other at only one single point. Our options again are no solution when the lines are parallel, infinitely many solutions when the lines are on top of each other, and only one solution when they meet at one point. They cannot meet at more than like three. There is no in between infinitely many and one. There, we cannot have two solutions, for example, or three. It's either like infinitely many, one or zero. Here's another uh, example where we have no solution, okay? So if the lines have the same slope, like three, uh, both of the lines right now have the slope of 3. As you see, the green and blue lines don't touch each other. They are parallel. You can change the y-intercept, but it's not going to change anything. They are not going to touch each other as long as they don't have the same exact number as the y-intercept. All of these are having no solutions. So if you have a system of equation where you have these two lines, then they're not going to touch each other because their slopes are the same, which is 3, and their y-intercepts are different. One has a positive 8, the other one has a negative 9. So that's it, an example for no solution. Let's see how uh, or what kind of lines would be infinitely many solutions. They should be on top of each other, right? The equations should be exactly the same. 
plus eight. Now the blue line is, you don't see the blue line because the green one is on top of the blue line. So there is infinite diminished solutions if the equations are exactly the same. Is that all my options? What if I multiply all these numbers by two, like two y equals six x plus 16. Boom. So if you have one original equation and if you multiply all those numbers by any number, then it's the same line again. So this sort of a pattern would tell you that you have infinite diminished solution, okay? Now, let's get back to our example and move on that one a little. So first, I want to show you how you can do these questions by hand. That's going to be like this one here is substitution. What I will do, I'll take the value of x. That's what substitution is called, right? Take that value, plug it in into the other equation. So we have x equals negative 6, right? That's what I'm going to substitute. I'll substitute the x, uh, and then wherever I see that x, I will put negative 6 in the other equation. Because if this is a system, they work together. So if that negative 6 goes into here as negative 7 times x, but remember, we are going to do substitution. Now the x is negative 6 minus 9y equals 15. Now we will solve that equation. That's a simple two-step, one variable equation. Negative 7 times negative 6 is positive 42. Now bring down the rest. Now this is a two-step equation. All I'll do is I'll put the numbers together, and the variable is going to be on one side. So I, I already have this right here. I, I, I'm not going to touch that. I'll get rid of that 42 by subtracting it because it is already positive. Now I'll drop down everything. Negative 9y equals negative 27. Divide by negative 9 to get the y by itself. So y equals positive 3. What do I do with that? Take one equation, plug it in. Look at the first equation. Do we have a y to plug, plug v in? You don't have any y in the first equation, so you only have one option, which is to pick the second equation. So let's just take that second equation and rewrite it, okay, by plugging that positive 3 in to find the value of the other variable. So negative 7 times x plus minus 9 times 3 equals 15. So, I just realized that this was going to be totally pointless because when I solve this, you know what I will find? I hope you see that. I will find x equals negative 7 because that's part of my system and I already know what it is. I already know what x equals because it's given as a part of, as a part of my solution, my system, my bad. So, if y equals 3, x equals negative 6, those are my answers. So, negative 6 for the x and 3 for the y. Now, let's just use Desmos to confirm our answer, okay? Uh, for the state test, you always have this opportunity. You can use Desmos graphing calculator to find the solutions to systems, which is a great way if you know how to use it. So all we have to do is put x equals negative 6, x equals negative 6, and then in the next one, negative 7x minus 9, oh, I have it, negative 7x minus 9y equals 15. Now let's clear everything up and remember our solution was negative 6, positive 3, right? Let's just get rid of all of this. Let's see the point of intersection, negative 6, positive 3. So I would like you to know how to solve these equations, but in the end, I am totally okay with you using decimals to find the answers, but I think after you make sure that you know how to do these questions. So, yeah, for all of these questions, you can confirm your answer using decimals. Now, let's just submit this. It was positive, negative, six, positive, three. We did one question by using the method of substitution. Now, we're going to do elimination. This is the substitution, so I will level up. 
Okay, this is called elimination. So with the elimination, what you do, no, this is the substitution, my bad, my bad. Can we do, we can use both methods actually, just for the sake of showing you about elimination. I'm not gonna do this question, but I will show you what an elimination method looks like. All you have to do is kind of like adding the equations side by side so that one of the variables cancel each other out. Look at that, 2x, that's positive, plus negative 2x, they're done. And then you drop everything down, side by side. You have on the left, you have y plus y, that makes up 2y, bring down the equal, combine the numbers on the right side, negative one minus nine is negative 10. Solve that equation, you have y equals negative five. I said I wasn't gonna show it, solve, solve the equation, but I don't know what happened. So take that value, y equals negative five, pick one of the equations. If you have one with the smaller numbers, pick that one, it's easier to deal with. The numbers with, uh, the equation with the smaller number is always easier to deal with. But now, it, they don't matter. I'm gonna use the first equation. Since the numbers are very close, it says y equals, so I know y is negative five, so I'm plugging it in, I'm bringing down the right side exactly the same way as it is. And remember, the numbers should be together on one side, so adding one, negative five plus one is on the left side. That makes up negative four equals two x, divide by two, get the x by itself, x equals negative two, we have our solution. x comes first, negative two, y comes next, negative five, okay? And you can always confirm these by just typing them on that one. Now let's move up a level. It's still, you can add these side by side again and then cross the two x and negative two x out. I'm looking for an example that is like, okay, this. So this right here, let's just graph it. Okay, x minus y equals eight x minus y equals 8, and then in the next line, 10x minus 4y equals, was it 20? Yeah, okay, let's find the point of intersection. I'm scrolling down, negative 2, negative 10 is the solution to this system. Now, this is going to be the last question for this video. I want to solve this, okay? Let's see if we will find those answers. So x minus y equals eight, 10x minus four y equals 20. Now let's use the method of elimination. We already did the graphing, you know how to graph it. Or another way, I'm not gonna show you how to graph it on this Excel. Desmos is a better place for that. Okay, let's use uh, elimination. So this is a good example because it's not just like, trying to find the place, oops, please to me. Okay. Just a second, okay, found it. So, uh, I am going to try to cancel the y's out. Let me explain why. You can also cancel, try to cancel out the x, but the problem with that, it requires one more step. Then, if the numbers are equal, like 2x and 2x, like in here, trying to cancel the x's out is easier. But in which case, you need to subtract one of the equations. Because if you add them side by side, you're gonna have four x. But if you subtract one of the equations, then they will cancel each other out. Like subtract this whole thing by changing their signs. And then, these are gonna be gone. Okay, that's, like if the numbers are the same, just make sure one of them is negative. You can subtract that equation from the other one. But right here, 1y and 4y, they're closer, the numbers are closer to each other. So I feel like if I multiply the first equation by 4, 
I'll have negative 4y in the first one, negative 4y in the second one. Okay, let's just do that. Like multiply this by 4, it turns into 4x, 4y, and then 32, 8 times 4. Okay, you can just use a whole other space and rewrite the whole thing. That's totally up to you. Now, looking at what I have, if I just add these side by side, they're not going to cancel each other out because they are both negative. I'll end up with 8y, negative 8y. That's what I'll end up with. But what if I multiply the first inequality, first equation by negative, which means positive 4x turns into negative, negative 4y turns into positive, and positive 32 turns into negative. Basically change all of the signs. You can do this with any of the equations. Just change all of the signs. Multiply everything by 5. Multiply everything by 2 or negative 3. That's totally up to you. We just had that example on Desmos. I multiplied one of the example, uh, equations by like 2 and then it was still the same line. That's the same logic. You can just multiply everything by the same number in an equation. It's going to be the same thing. So right now, all we have to do is just add them side by side. Positive 4y and negative 4y, they're cancelled out. Negative 4x plus 10x, there's positive 6x. Do the right side. Negative 32 plus 20 is negative 12. Divide by 6 to get the x by itself. x equals negative 2. Was that what we had over here? I really hope it was. <laughs> yeah, x equals negative 2. Now, let's do let's plug this in in the first equation the first equation was x minus y i'm just rewriting the whole thing and then now i'm going to plug in negative 2 for x negative 2 minus y equals 8. we are trying to get the y by itself because we are solving it for y now add the 2 negative y equals positive 10 Divide everything by negative 1, so y equals negative 10. So the first number is the x, the second one is the y. That would be our solution. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you know how to solve the systems of equations, but once you make sure that, you can use Desmos to either double check your work or to just complete them in a shorter period of time. Thanks for watching and I will see you in another video.